and welcome back to my desk. So for this video I just wanted to do a little roundup of the items that I recently purchased from Cafe Analog and with the issues I had this week with regard to VAT being charged on some of the parcels I got from the United States it looks like me and Cafe Analog will have to become firmer friends over the coming year for any of my stationary needs as it doesn't look like I will be able to continue with some of my subscription boxes from further afield. In getting everything together for today's video, I was like, is that all I bought? And of course, when the box came, I was like, oh my God, what did I buy? But anyway, let's have a look at some of the items I bought and let's look at the ones that are in camera shot at the moment. So these are some ink stamps, which are quite wonderful. This one is metal. I'll try and take it out of the box now. And the design, as you can see, is a forest with the moon. So it slides out, which for some reason I love. Reminds me of those little matchbox creatures you could get. And you, as you can see, I have used it with a green already lovely quality stamp there. The second one took me by surprise. As always, I can't quite remember what I ordered, but my recollection was that I had ordered what I thought was just this. Then the box arrives and there are two wonderful stamps in it. And obviously cost was no object to me because I was ordering them. And then it comes with this, some paper. But the paper is wrapped in a little brown strip and has a ink stamp on it, or not an ink stamp, a wax stamp on it. So I just love it and I can't wait to use these. Another item I bought, another stamp I bought was this word of the day and you stamp out the stamp and then write in your word and the date and write that sums up, uh, it up for the day. And of course I thought I'd be wonderfully hilarious and only ever write this, use this for sort of curse words, but it turns out I've been using it for empowering words, which is rather disturbing. Another thing I bought was my first ever Delphonics pouch. No idea what I'm going to use it for. But I love it. I love the color. I love everything about it. I love the size. This is the medium. As you can see, it doesn't quite fit into camera shot. Think of it as sort of slightly larger than A5. An A5 notebook would fit into the main pouch. So, love that. Then I bought some of my first Is It Midori notebooks. So these are fillers. I bought two dots and two blank. These lie flat. No, I bought two squares and two dots. Uh, Oh, I don't know what I bought. Two squares and two dots, probably. So these lie flat, and then I bought the paper cover to go with these. Because, let's face it, these are being added to an already vast notebook collection. And I also already have my notebooks for next year. I work out of two main notebooks. One for my actual diary, which is a leather-bound notebook. And one bullet journal. I've always bullet journaled to an extent insofar as I've always kept lists and repeated lists and that sort of thing and laid out my month. I'm never, and then of course bullet journaling itself came along. So one of the other items I bought was a glue dispenser. I like these glue roller dispensers. I'd bought some Pritt stick ones and I just wanted to try this one, which was stocked at Cafe Analog. The card is just something that uh, the owner sent along to say thank you for your order, which I love. As I say, you always get this personal touch with these smaller, more specialized shops. Now, as always, I'm probably going to hold something upside down, but I bought these. These are ink beans. These are it's the first time I'd ever seen them. And the idea behind these is that you can ink different elements of your stamp with different colors. So I brought three sets. So it's sort of a greeny one. I'm not sure what the description was on this one, but you can see there's sort of a purple, a blue, an orange. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe a black in there. And then this one. So they come like this and you can use them. And then very cleverly, they come with a little double-sided strip. This is a double-sided strip, which you can stick along here and then stick all of them together. But then to identify them, you get a little sticker. Oh, where is it gone? There's, there's one. You get a little sticker to stick on the side of the little unit. So I thought that was super cute. And yeah, that was it. And as I said, when it came, I was kind of trying to hide it and thought I'd ordered a heck of a lot more. But I was super restrained. Super restrained. 
So thank you for watching and uh, as I say there will probably be more material from Cafe Analog coming because I won't be able to buy from the United States anymore which is rather unfortunate. Okay bye see you in the next one.